So, currently, everyone is talking about QSTAR and AGI technology. What is QSTAR? What is AGI? And why is all this related to the OpenAI drama? Sam Altman was initially fired from OpenAI by the board members without proper reasons, and then OpenAI rehired him a few days later. In today's video, you will get all the answers related to these questions with proper facts and information. Let's get started. Firstly, as we know, Sam Altman was fired from OpenAI, but the main reason has not been revealed yet. However, if you delve deeper, there is a possibility that Sam Altman is secretly working on an AGI project called QSTAR. We will discuss AGI in this video a little bit later, but for now, let's focus on Sam Altman. There are many articles and news about breakthroughs in AI, claiming that OpenAI has created an AGI or a creature. However, these articles mainly focus on AGI. According to an article titled, OpenAI Researchers Warned Board of AI Breakthrough Ahead of CEO Ouster, source says, dated November 23rd, it states that ahead of OpenAI CEO O. Sam Altman's departure, several staff researchers wrote a letter to the board of directors warning of a powerful artificial intelligence discovery that they said could threaten humanity, according to two people familiar with the matter who spoke to Reuters. If this is true, it could lead to the next AI revolution of large language models because it means that they've discovered something that would lead to greater capabilities. An interesting aspect is that an internal message to staffers mentioned a project called QSTAR and a letter to the board before the weekend's events. An OpenAI spokesperson said that the message, sent by longtime executive Mira Marathi, alerted staff to certain media stories without commenting on their accuracy. The article continues by stating that some at OpenAI believe QSTAR could be a breakthrough in the startup search for what's known as Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. OpenAI defines AGI as autonomous systems that surpass humans in most economically valuable tasks. Given vast computing resources, the new model was able to solve certain mathematical problems, according to an anonymous source. Although it only performed math at the level of grade school students, acing such tests made researchers very optimistic about QSTAR's future success. These pieces of information may indicate that Sam Altman is working with his team on an AGI project. Now come to our next topic, what is AGI and is OpenAI successfully achieved AGI? So basically, AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, refers to a hypothetical machine intelligence that can perform any intellectual task that a human can. Unlike narrow AI systems that are designed to perform specific tasks, AGI would be capable of learning and adapting to new situations, reasoning abstractly, understanding natural language, and more. This means AGI is just like human, which can adapt according to their environment and perform various tasks, which needs high intelligence. With its ability to understand complex problems and learn from data, AGI can be applied in numerous ways like in manufacturing industries, agriculture, healthcare, and many more. Now, hope you understand what the AGI is and in the next article which claims about AGI. The statement said, ChatGPT boss says he's created human-level AI, then he said he's just memeing. AGI has been achieved internally at OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, writes on Reddit before backtracking. I will provide all the links of the articles and news in my description. Also, many people hadn't realized that OpenAI secretly made several changes to their website to showcase that they were going to be moving towards an AGI future. You can see right here that currently the core values have shifted to AGI focus, and it says we are committed to building safe, beneficial AGI that will have a massive positive impact on humanity's future. Anything that doesn't help with that is out of scope. 
So that is crazy because they've put this as the first point. Why this is a secret bombshell that they secretly dropped silently updating their page, and we now know that this is pretty insane. Further on the video, you might be thinking, who on earth is Jimmy Apples? If you didn't know, is essentially an open AI leaker. We aren't sure of what he is or what he does, but we do know that he always does have early information about GPT-4 or whatever open AI is currently working on. If you're wondering about any skepticism regarding his statements or previous statements around open AI have come out with 100% accuracy. For example, he actually tweeted and got the release date of GPT-4 a week before it was even announced, meaning that he definitely has some kind of inside information. Now back to the statement about AGI, he said that AGI has been achieved internally on September 18th, 2023. Now what's crazy is that a week later, the CEO Sam Altman tweeted that A has been achieved internally, and he tweeted this on a certain post, and then what was crazy was that he actually edited this comment and said, obviously this is just me meing when AGI is achieved, it will not be announced with a Reddit comment. So if you start connecting all the dots, you will see that after Jimmy Apples said about AGI, then after a month later, OpenAI shifts their main focus to AGI, which leads me to believe that Sam Altman and his team at OpenAI are much closer to AGI. Now, from all the information, we can estimate that OpenAI is working on AGI, and it could be possible they achieved it. So, to make AGI OpenAI could be using QSTAR. But the main question is, what is QSTAR and how it is work? First, let me tell you, QSTAR is not a new concept. This is old concept based on reinforcement learning of AI. You can also find a lecture of deep learning which have QSTAR on the Lex Fridman YouTube channel. The video is about seven years older and I show you the timestamp so that it's easy for you to know about about this topic. So the name QSTAR likely comes from two sources. Firstly, the Q could be a reference to the Q learning, which we will discuss later. And essentially, it's a type of machine learning used in reinforcement learning. Now go to second part. So the second part, essentially, the start comes from the A-star search. There was research paper, I think, written in 2019, and the A-star search algorithm is a pathfinding and graph traversal algorithm which is widely used in computer science for a variety of problems, especially in games and AI, for finding the shortest pass between two points. If this is becoming more complicated to you, let me show you more simpler definition of Q learning and a star. You can think of the name Q star like a nickname for a super smart robot, and then the Q part is basically like saying this robot is really good at making decisions and that it learns from his experience is just like you would learn if you played a video game a bunch of time. And of course, the more you play, the better it gets at figuring out how to win. Means think like we have a small child which learned from their experience which he got from environment. Also, we have the simple definition of a star search. You just need to think of it like this. So imagine you're in a maze and you need to find the quickest way out. There's a classic method in computer science, kind of like a set of instructions that help you find the shortest pass in a maze, and that is exactly what we call a star search. And of course, once you mix this with deep learning, and then you get the computers to learn and improve from the experience, you get a really, really smart system. And it's not just finding the shortest path in the mains, it can solve much more trickier problems by finding the best solutions, just like how you might figure out the best way to beat a video game. With the combination of these two algorithms, we get our QSTAR algorithm. QSTAR is not ending here. This video just gives you the overview of the QSTAR. I will make a separate video on QSTAR with proper explanation with how can QSTAR have the ability to revolutionize the AI world. So, this is the summary of our today's video. Hope this video will add some value to your life and you learn something new. To get more updates about AI and new technological advancement, you can subscribe our channel 
and do not forget to like and share this video.